Hey YouTube, welcome back to the 10 gallon aquaponics experiment. This is day seven. Um, water quality has not much changed from yesterday except um, it looks like the nitrite levels have gone down a little bit and that the nitrates have come up and it's a little early for that to happen so I'm thinking that maybe the the hydroton that I moved from my outside system into the inside system um, is helping speed the process along. I, I got it, you know, when I looked at the test strip, it was weird, and so I, I double tested it, and it is, um, it is lower than yesterday. Um, and that's the only way I can explain it. I don't know. Maybe someone can leave a comment and let me know what they think. Um, so the idea here, uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, is that I, I've watched tons of aquaponic videos, and I've read a bunch of literature on it, and you always see in these videos these tanks, like 275-gallon, 400-gallon tanks, just boiling over with tilapia, just crowded in there. Um, and they're growing fields of food, like greenhouses, warehouses full of food with this stuff. And I look at the videos of people who do smaller systems, and they're always only using a few goldfish. And it looks like their crops are suffering, and they're not really getting any good production out of it. So my, my concept is, why not take the, the large farm scale size aquaponics and, and bring it down, you know, micro size it and see how much produce you can actually get out of a small system indoors so the tank is cycling now i have three goldfin fish in there at the moment and i'm measuring the water quality every day and i'm going to be posting that information on my twitter um, as well as doing the video updates to, to keep everybody informed i'm also offering some advice for people who are getting started with aquaponics and want to build a small indoor system um, once the system is up and cycling i'm going to be experimenting with different size grow beds uh, stocking densities, feeding rates, and also adding or subtracting minerals from the system to kind of see how much I can grow with it. Um, specifically, I'm going to be working towards tomatoes and see what I can do with just 10 gallons, how big of, or productive or how many potato tomato plants sorry, I can get out of it. So that's a general concept. Um, like I said, the water quality, not much changed from yesterday, but I'll be posting that information on my Twitter, which goes by the same channel name as this account. Uh, so please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, repost, share, or give me feedback at all in any way you can. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.